You want to do like all kind of dance. You want to do the, the fish, right? How do you, you want to do the fish or whatever? I can't even do that one, guys. I think I'm a little too old for that. Hi, I'm Karolina Krakova, and I'm going to show you inside our favorite room, which is Noah's, who is my four-year-old. So come in and I'll show you how it looks. So first and foremost, I think showing your little one's art, it's so important. And I love this one, which is very special. We were able to go in Rito Romero studio. He was an incredible artist and he's really amazing with kids. And I like to display all their artwork. I think it's just so important and it really makes the room personal, makes it theirs, makes it special. Instead of just putting any type of work, why not put your kids' artwork? So this is it, guys. I wanted the space to be really like light and airy and cozy. I love that we have this cozy rug, um, his little bed, which I a lot of time actually spend sleeping on. A lot of beds for kids, I find they're bulky, they're big. So I really like this bed from Duck Duck. It's modern, it's clean. And the cool thing here, if you have a sibling, you can put them down here on the bottom. You know, just like little things that makes it theirs and things they like. We're learning to count, so old school counting. And then I wanna show you here. This is really cool and fun. I highly recommend this. Click and grow. This is your little indoor garden. And right now we're growing our tomatoes. I don't have a house, I don't have a big land to do it on. So why not do it inside your house? This is a great system. He gets to see how plants grow. And look, we're gonna have little tomatoes soon. Then a super fun item, the lollipop. You know, when we have kids over, we always make a little bit of fun. We say, look, we have a giant lollipop. Go and lick it. But then we, of course, stop them and say, no, don't lick it. It's a lamp. I love this. This toy, it's super fun. This is from Cybex. It's a little plastic pig that you can sit on, play on, be silly on, but it also adds as a storage anything to keep things organized. I love these cards on wheels, again, to organize things. So right now I have books in here, but you can put Legos, you can put bowls, anything to keep things kind of organized, but movable. If you need to clean the floor, you know, I can just wheel it. I don't have to pick it up. It's not heavy. Then Sonos. I love Sonos. I am someone who loves music. And a lot of times I talk about with families doing Freakazoid Dance. Can I show you what Freakazoid Dance is? You're probably like, what is she talking about? Okay, let me show you guys, we need space. You need to be silly. Kids need to see the parent being funny, goofy, silly, and how better way to be silly and goofy when you play music. With Freakazoid Dance, all you wanna be, you want it to be fun, you wanna be silly, you wanna do like all kind of dance, you wanna do the, the fish, right? How do you, you wanna do the fish or whatever. I can't even do that one, guys. I think I'm a little too old for that. But you wanna do like the running man, anything that's silly and goofy. And then it's their turn and they go and do the Freakazoid Dance. Whoa, it's a full house party. So don't forget, do Freakazoids. This is where we like to read sometimes and take it easy. And this is where I take my nappies sometimes too. One of my favorite things to do with the kids, it's actually bedtime. You know, I feel like that's a time where everybody's a little bit more relaxed and quiet and you get more insights. Like how are they feeling? They open up more, they feel more vulnerable. We love to read books. I try to pick books that focuses on maybe what's going on in his life. Braving Bedtime talks about how do you get over it or how you become brave to deal with bedtime. So this is a really beautiful book. I also love Mommy, Please Don't Go to Work. I am a working mom and yes, I do travel for work. Noah really loves it because he can identify with this book. And then The Lost Elephant that Griffin Ivy Rose collaborated with, with Dr. Cowan, who is an incredible pediatrician using animals to explain the different personalities of children and that we all need each other and that we all need to work together. Thank you so much everyone for watching. And remember, when you go back home today, cuddle and connect with your loved ones, with your friend, with your wife, with your husband, with your kids, and maybe do a freakazoid dance or maybe 
read a book at bedtime because those are the moments we'll never get back, but we will always remember. <laughs>